Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at a concept in economics known as returns to scale. With that said, let's get into it. So in economics, there's three types of returns to scale, and this looks at the amount of inputs relative or proportional to the number of outputs that a firm can produce. There are increasing returns to scale, constant returns to scale, and finally decreasing returns to scale. And in this video, we're going to cover what all three of them are, starting with constant returns to scale. So here you'll see I have my inputs on the left and my outputs on the right, and I have labor, physical capital, and monetary capital as my inputs. And then I have my output, which in this case is just a generic product. Now, constant returns to scale occur when proportional increases in all of the inputs result in an exactly proportional increase in output. In other words, if you double the inputs, the output will also double. And the total output scales up at a constant rate relative to the increase in inputs. So let's take a look at what happens if I were to triple my inputs. So right now I have one unit of labor, one unit of physical capital, and one unit of monetary capital. What if I triple all of my inputs? So now I have three times as much of all of my inputs. Well, under a constant returns to scale, my output must also triple you will see I now have three times as much input and therefore I get exactly three times as much output. Now let's take a look at decreasing returns to scale. Considering the same example, we now have labor, physical and monetary capital as our inputs and one unit of output. So decreasing returns to scale occur when a proportional increase in all of the inputs leads to a less than proportional increase in output. In this scenario, if we increase all of the inputs by some proportion, perhaps by tripling it, then the result in output would be less than triple. So it implies that the production process becomes less efficient as it expands. So once again, let's look at this on the screen. If I triple my inputs for decreasing returns to scale, now I have three times as much inputs, my output will only be twice as great. And this means that even though I have three times the inputs, I only have two times the outputs, which is decreasing returns to scale. Finally, let's look at increasing returns to scale. Increasing returns to scale occur when a proportional increase in all of the inputs results in a more than proportional increase in output. So in this case, if you were to increase the inputs by some variable multiple, then the output would be more than that multiple. So this suggests that the production process is more efficient as it expands, and this leads to something called economies of scale. We have another video on economies of scale, so if that's something you're interested in, check it out. But for this one, let's suppose that we triple all of our inputs. So I have three times as many inputs, just like the last two examples. Well, in increasing returns to scale, this will lead to a more than triple output. So now you'll see nine times the output, even though I only tripled my input. I have nine times the output, and that's because I'm experiencing increasing returns to scale. So once again, to summarize, constant returns to scale is when I have an exactly proportional response. So if I triple my inputs, then I triple my outputs. Decreasing returns to scale is when I triple my inputs, but I have less than triple of my outputs. So in this case, I have triple inputs and only double my outputs. And then finally, increasing returns to scale, I could triple my inputs, but I would have nine times my output. So I have significantly more than the multiple that was applied to my inputs. We hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know what other economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.